What's good, YouTube? All right, so today is gonna be a little bit different, as I'm pretty sure you saw in the thumbnail, the card. Today I wanna talk about, is Conor McGregor more loved or more hated? I said I was gonna put him away in the first round. I put him away in the first round. It would have to be something special to come over here in my hometown and, and, and take this away from me. There's not, a, there's, not, there's not a man alive that can come on this soil and beat me. We, I said it last year, we're not here just to take part, we're here to take over. Now to start off, I just wanna let y'all know I'm a diehard Conor McGregor fan. I mean, he is hands down my favorite athlete that's out right now. And you know, everybody that I meet and I tell them that, I get one of two reactions. Either it's like, oh man, Conor McGregor's great, he's awesome, he's blah, 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 blah. Or I get, oh, he's a bum, he's a trash talker, he sucks. And you know, it had me thinking, is Conor McGregor more loved or is he more hated? Thank you. Make me. This guy TKOs people. When I knock people out, they don't fucking move. They're not gonna... Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? You know damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? I personally think that it's split down the middle. You know, I think he has a huge fan base, but I think that there's also just as many haters out there. And the thing is, for those who hate him, I wanna sit here and explain to you why you shouldn't. Now for starters, I just wanna give y'all a little bit of back information on Conor McGregor for all my people who aren't UFC fans. I'm pretty sure all of y'all know who you, Conor McGregor is. I mean, one of the most popular faces in sports media these days. But I still wanna give you a little bit of background about the greatness that is the notorious one. So his official record is 21 and three. He has won fight of the night two times, performance of the night six times, KO of the night one time. And at the tender age of 30, the man has amassed an incredible amount of wealth. I mean, he's well over worth $100 million now. And he's had some incredible performances. I mean, he wins against Eddie Alvarez and wins performance of the night. Uh, he fights Diaz at a weight class that he shouldn't have fought at and lost. Comes back, fights him at the same weight class and wins. Then not to mention that he has a 14 second knockout against Jose Aldo. Aldo went 14 years, I mean 10 years without losing. And got knocked out by 14, 14 seconds. He KOs Dennis Silver, he knocks out uh, Dustin Poirier, and it just goes on and on and on. Now, I get why people hate Conor McGregor as of today, because I mean, the guy has like, I mean, like I said, he's 30 years old and he's worth over $100 million, probably upwards of $200 million. And his mouth is what has gotten him there. Now, granted, he is an incredible fighter. He gets in the ring and I mean, in the beginning stages, he was predicting his fights. He was like, I'm gonna knock him out in round one. I'm gonna put this left across his jaw and he's gonna go to sleep. And he was spot on with it. So that's kind of what got him to start, but it's his incredible trash talking ability, which really got him there. Say it like it is, you're blessed. You're blessed that I chose you. You're blessed that I chose to whoop your ass next. Look what's next for me, Joe. I'm gonna get that second bell, where the f is it? They should have had them two belts ready, spit showing for me. Now, a lot of people hate him because of the trash talking, but the trash talking is what made him. He would call out the biggest, the baddest, the best, and with the way he was able to mastermind his comebacks and his rebuttals to people. Every time somebody said something, he had the quickest comeback I've ever seen. And it jumped him ahead of fighters who probably were more deserving than him at the time, but when he got there, he would perform. He would show up, he would show out. I've ridiculed everyone on the roster. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. Let me raise this. And a lot of people say that he's cocky and arrogant, and I would agree to an extent that he is now. I mean, if you had hundred million dollars in your account, hundred million plus for beating people up. I don't think you'd be the most humble person in the world either, especially at the age of 30. But in the beginning stages, it definitely was not cockiness or arrogance. It was supreme confidence. And that's why I think a lot of people hate him, because they don't understand the amount of confidence that this man had. My name is Conor McGregor and I live in Lucan. I'm an up and coming fighter and without a doubt you will see me on the UFC in the near future. Without a doubt. I mean think about it, they are 
fighters, they're modern day gladiators. They get locked in a cage and it's like, hey, may the best man win. If you were going into that cage to battle another human being, would you want to go in there with even the slightest bit of fear or doubt in your mind? I know I wouldn't. And that's how Conor McGregor was. He believed in himself. And that's why he's my favorite athlete of all time. He has the ultimate confidence in himself. And me as a former athlete and still a very hardcore competitor, I'll bet on me before I bet on anybody any day of the week, no matter what it is. And I see that trade in Conor, and that's why he became my favorite. And I think that a lot of people don't recognize that. I mean, think about it. Let's take somebody like Floyd Mayweather, for example. Floyd Mayweather, I mean, greatest boxer ever. I mean, did I like the guy? Absolutely not. He fought some really big names, but he would wait till the end of their career, or he'd get a guy who has 25 fights under his belt and is up and coming, and he go fight that guy. On the count of three, I want everyone in this arena to scream at the top of your lungs, fuck the Mayweathers! One, two, three! So I really didn't like that because the competitive side of me, it didn't sit well. But then you look at Conor McGregor. He said, I'm going through this division, I'm going to tear it up, and then I'm going to move on. He tore the division up, knocked out a guy who hadn't been beaten a decade in 14 seconds. Then he took a fight against Nate Diaz, 11 days notice, in a weight class he had never fought in at 170. He walked in the ring, he wasn't even 170, he was 169. And yeah, he lost by tap out, but I mean, he took this fight on 11 days notice and fought it up very out of his norm weight class. But what did he do? When he lost, the competitor to him said, I'm fighting him again. Same scenario, same weight, let's do it again. He came back and won. How can you not like that? Then he moves on to fight Eddie Alvarez for the uh, lightweight belt and beats Eddie. I mean, come on, man. So when people are sitting here now saying that Conor McGregor's too cocky, he's too arrogant, I hate him, they just don't understand how confident he is. Now, granted, now, I would agree 100% that the guy is borderline arrogant, but I'm still not mad at him because he's done everything that he said he would do, minus losing to Floyd Mayweather, but if I lost and made $200 million, throw me in there every weekend. To everybody, I enjoyed reading your mean tweets. I will wipe my tears with my money and carry on. Thank you so much. So yeah, I can understand where the cockiness and arrogance comes from, but with all that being said, because I can see how much this man believes in himself and he backs up. And when he does mess up, like when he lost to Nate, he didn't get in the press conference saying, oh man, I took it on 11 days notice. Oh man, the guy came in the ring, probably 200 pounds. He said none of that. He said, hey, I wasn't smart with my fighting tactics. I dumped it all in the beginning. I got tired. He called me, he tapped me. But we will do it again. And I love that about him. So for all you Conor McGregor haters, ah, uh, forget you. The man is incredible. He. Who doesn't like a champion? And one that tells you he's going to win. And just like the Khabib fight that's coming up. Biggest fight in UFC history. Biggest fight in UFC history. I don't care what nobody says it's the biggest. He calls out a man who reportedly hasn't lost a round in wrestling, which is Conor McGregor's kryptonite. He's been taken down super easy in fights. And that's all Khabib does is take you down. And Conor still called him out. And he even said, I want to fight him in Russia. I want to fight him in his backyard. And that's why I love me some Conor McGregor. And that's why on October the 6th, I'll be at the Khabib Conor McGregor fight. Let's go. You want to move up? I'm here. It's going to be easy money. That wasn't the question, but ask yourself, ask yourself truthfully. If Dana rang you and said, you don't have to fight Cerrone, you can fight McGregor, even though Cerrone was still fit, would you take it? You're damn right you take of it. Of course, man. Easy because money. I of course, you got life. easy money, man. I can make you Look rich. You, man. I change your bum life. You fight me, it's a celebration. Of course you can. I would beat you. When you sign to fight me, it's a celebration. You ring back home. You ring your wife. Baby, we done it. We're rich, baby. Conor McGregor made us rich. Break out the red panties. We're rich, baby. So don't say you would not take that fight because you would take that fight like everyone else up here would take the fight against me if it was offered, regardless of belts or any of that shit. I'm the money fight in the male, male shit at all weight division, so fuck everybody else up here. People are always saying about the talk, and I talk, and I talk, and I talk, but guess fucking what? I back it up. I back it up.